quick quote on one of the most common problems that people run into with data prime and their general ingestion. So um, let's, uh, if we run this example here, we can see that we have a given uh, set of logs here and we can see that um, we have a message here and we have a uh, response time field. Let's say we want to run some analytics on this response time field. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just narrow down my logs uh, to make sure I always have that response time. So dollar d uh, filter dollar d dot response time is not equal to null. So that will guarantee that the field is set. So if I run this now, we get these logs. We get a response time is not equal to null. Okay, cool. So now we have logs that guaranteed to have this response time. Now I want to run some analytics on this. So I'm going to group by I'll group by the message. That seems a pretty quite appropriate. Um, and I'll aggregate on the, let's say the average of the dollar D dot response time. Now notice I've got an error. I hover over this. Expression must type, type, type number instead of string because required type parameter type is number. So what's going on here? Even though this is a numeric value, it's been interpreted as a string. Um, so what this means is that in its current form, you can't do any um, calculations on it because data prime doesn't know that this is a numerical value. It, it's been ingested as a string. The way you can get around this is by running the following. So by this is essentially a casting. This will take the response time and interpret it as a number. And then when you run the aggregation that time, you'll get a nice average uh, running on that. And that's because data prime can dynamically take that string and turn it into a number. And you can see actually you get a really nice view of the average latency based on the failure message. So now you can have all the different test types that are failing and what's actually working there. So this is just a really nice way of demonstrating how powerful um, the uh, the data prime engine is because you can even do things like numerical casting and making sure that um, a values are interpreted in the right way. This is a very common problem. So it's just important to recognize um, that when you are um, working on this, uh, be aware of the type of the data. And if you see that error um, in your, um, in your uh, query, which is the expression must have type number instead of string, just think, oh, maybe it's been ingested as a string rather than as a number. Most things will be ingested as a string by default. This is a very, very common use case uh, to, to run into. And again, the solution, just cast it straight to the value that you need to cast it to. And then that will automatically, uh, data prime will handle the conversion in a graceful way.